I even saying? Hello, my loves. It's Kim again. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Mukbang. So today I'm going to talk to you about that moment when you inhale a bug. The worst thing. I mean, okay, probably not the worst thing, but top 10 easily. Uh, and in honor of inhaling a bug, I'm gonna eat some Thai food for you today. But the reason why a story about inhaling bugs and Thai food come together is because when I was in Thailand, I went to one of the night street markets. It was a great experience. Why these night markets are so awesome is because they have a lot of unique things that you just can't find in the United States. But I consider myself a pretty adventurous eater. So I decided when I was in Thailand that I really wanted to try something that I definitely could not get in the States, fried crickets. Clearly I have no problem eating bugs, but just so you know, when they're prepared in Thailand, it's not squishy or gooey like you would just pick up a cricket off the ground and eat it, which hopefully none of you do. But hey, if you do and that's where you get your protein, who am I to judge? What's really great about the crickets that I had when I was in Thailand is that it was deep fried. So it was nice and crispy and quite frankly, it tasted like I was eating fried chicken, like fried chicken skin. So it really wasn't a terrible experience. I really enjoyed it. But eating bugs, very different from inhaling it. But before I get into the story, let's talk really quickly about the food. The food is from Thai Isan Cuisine which is in Market City in the sort of near Kaimaki High School area. I've got three things on this plate here and I'm just gonna try and get it to you folks as close as I can. So that first item there is green papaya salad, which is raw papaya, uh, sort of shaved down and then they mash in uh, peanuts and um, lime, I believe, and probably something else. And they kind of mix it up and as you can see, there's some tomatoes in there as well. So that second thing there is something probably everyone's pretty familiar with. It is summer rolls. Your standard summer rolls, it's shrimp. And we've got some carrots and cucumbers in there as well. Looking forward to that. Um, oh, and it comes with this peanut sauce, which you can see sort of right here. A lot of folks who eat Thai food, they end up eating it with Pad Thai, which I love as well. But I wanted to try something that maybe not a lot of folks know as much about. It doesn't have uh, as much fame to it, which is drunken noodles. So as you can see, it's a thicker noodle here than the pad thai. Um, this one I got with chicken, I believe. Yeah. And there's also some carrots and broccoli. So this one is really tasty too. I believe there's also some garlic chips in there. It's really good, guys. In the bowl in front of me is tom yum soup. So I'm going to try and so you can get sort of see it. This tom yum soup has tofu in it as its protein, but you can order it with chicken or beef, I believe. Uh, this one is a citrusy base soup. It is spicy, as you can tell from the coloring. There's that sort of typical orange ring around it. It's also got some mushrooms, some cilantro, uh, and lime as well. This is what I'm really excited about. So this is fried flounder. This one has garlic on it as well. It usually comes with uh, tomato. I think that's mostly for garnish, but I'll, I'll, I'll probably eat it. Um, and a lime to kind of squeeze it on as you usually do with most fried food. So this one comes with this chili sauce here. And it's supposedly really spicy. In lieu of that, I'm drinking Pellegrino. I actually don't know if that's the right way to say that, but I'm drinking Pellegrino, which is basically just sparkling water because I'm bougie like that. I don't know. I just, I like water with bubbles in it. Don't judge me. Mm. Oh, and I'm weird because I actually don't like it on ice. I actually prefer it uh, room temperature. Let's get started with some eating because I am starving. I think I'll start with some papaya salad. Mmm, really good. Very crispy and crunchy. I don't know if you can hear that, but. Mm. A little bit of spice. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, and let's try the soup. Mm, so, Tom Yum soup. Let me just try a little bit of the broth first. Mmm. 
This soup definitely has a lot of that lime flavor, which is typical of Thai food. Oh, you get to meet my other baby. This is Roscoe. Hi, Roscoe. Hi. Oh, hey, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Get out of here. Bye. Bye. No. Sit. Sit. The tom yum broth is very citrusy. Uh, looks like we've got some pieces of ginger in here. These are not for eating, I think, so don't eat them. Roscoe, are you going to sit there and stare at me the whole time? <laughs> okay, well, let's try some of the mushroom. Mm. Oh, yeah, really good. Mm. Mm. Very tasty. Roscoe, I swear. Okay, well, hopefully they'll stay there. Hmm. Okay. And now for the really exciting part, the fish. Let's get some lime. And there, as you can imagine, it is also fried on the other side. Hi, baby. Please don't eat my napkin. Okay, and let's dig into this fish. Okay. Oh. So let me just show you a piece of the fish it's really white very very white <laughs> even roscoe's mesmerized <laughs> mm. Mm, yeah oh and let's not forget the chili sauce okay <laughs> stop the chili sauce is good it's spicy but um I'm sure as I start to eat more and more of it, I'm sure it's a heat that builds, but <clears throat> in the initial bite, it's not too bad. So I'm glad to hear that because as much as I like spicy food, I really can't handle it the way I used to um, when I was younger. Oh, um, let's not leave out our summer rolls. Don't you lick me, get away. So this is the peanut sauce, uh, which comes pretty standard with uh, um, summer rolls. Uh, and the summer roll is rice wrapped with a rice paper sort of sheet thing, so. Mm. It's really refreshing. I mean, anytime you're using just like raw vegetables, especially crunchy vegetables with that lime or that citrusy flavor, it's always just a refreshing combination. Last but definitely not least is our drunken noodles. So let's get a, a little bit, a bit of a bite here. Mmm, very good. This one has more of a meat flavor to it. It definitely has picked up those chicken flavors. The heat you can taste a lot more on this one, and I believe I ordered it medium. Mmm, my chicken is good. Mmm. It's pretty juicy. So that's always, you know, that's always a little tricky with chicken. <laughs> you are so cute. I love broccoli. What? That is weird. The broccoli tastes like when you eat it with beef broccoli. Like, how's that? Well, I mean, I guess I was saying earlier because it's like the meat flavor, but. Hmm. And this is definitely spicy. Just a couple of bites in, and I'm starting to really taste and feel the heat. <sighs> and I love it. I'm going to have another one. Oh! I just remembered. One of my friends said I need to take bigger bites. Okay, well, <clears throat> we had a couple bites. Let's have a drink of water and then let's get into the story. Mm. I was walking the dogs around the block like I normally do in the mornings. And when I get to sort of around the part where I'm sort of maybe about halfway, a little bit more than halfway back, um, there's a house that I walk by that has a noni tree. In case you don't know what noni is, it's sort of a Hawaiian fruit that was used in a lot of healing recipes and things of that nature. It looks kind of like a translucent potato with a lot more eyes on the potato. Um, I think that's the best way to describe it. You know, most of us, we had acne in high school. For those of you who didn't, I don't want to hear it. So I was a typical pizza face. I had a ton of acne. And I remember my, my nana, bless her heart and soul, 
she was like, you know, oh, you should, you should drink this and you should put it on your face. If you've ever had just noni straight from the fruit, it is not pleasant. So, and it also did not clear up my acne. <laughs> Time just did that, you know, when your hormones just get kind of normal and more regulated as you get out of that awkward high school teenager phase. So anyway, for those of you that people are saying, oh yeah, just, you know, rub noni on your face or drink the juice, just wait it out. Trust me, okay? Just wait it out. Taking my dogs, walking them past this noni tree and, uh, you know, because it's a, it's a fruit tree, there's all these fruit flies and bugs. I can sit more at work. Mm -hmm. Okay. For the record, it is not an enjoyable way to eat. It ain't bad though. I'm a little interested to see how many bites it's going to take for me to finish all this. Looks like I'll have help if I uh, <laughs> can't finish. <laughs> Oh, so some spicy green papaya salad. Let's follow it up with some really spicy drunken noodles. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, so good. Definitely spicy. Yeah. Mm. He's mad because I'm not feeding him. He shouldn't be surprised. Though. I normally don't feed him. I mean, not that I don't feed him. <laughs> wow. Okay. Before anybody calls the Humane Society on me, I do feed my dogs. I meant I don't feed them human food. <laughs> you gotta really watch what you say on these things. Okay, let's see what I can do with this fish, guys. I don't know how big of a bite of fish I can get because it kind of just breaks apart. Uh, and I need to, you know, oh, that's actually, <laughs> that's kind of a serious bite. Okay, let's get some, so oh, you know what? I could pour that sauce on there it's using the old brain, Kim. Okay, I think that works. All right, spicy fish bite. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. This sauce is really good. Mm, mm -mm. Okay, God. Fish got bones. <laughs> I feel another one in there. Where is it? I think I might have swallowed it. Walking past this noni tree. And um, fruit flies everywhere because again, noni tree, it's a fruit tree. As I'm walking, it's, it's happening in slow motion. You're kind of walking towards the bug and you know, as it gets pretty close, then you can kind of see it. It's like, oh, hey, hello bug. And then boom, right up my nose. Just like right up in there. <sighs> Not fun. Mm -hmm. Let's get another one of these summer rolls. Mm -mm. Alright, don't scratch my me. So this bug <clears throat> flies up my nose. And so it was probably like a second or maybe two seconds, but in the moment felt like <clears throat> A really long time I didn't know what to do and of course some of you are probably saying duh you just blow it out of your nose right um, which that thought eventually crossed my mind but we'll get there so at first I didn't really know what to do so I kind of stood there I was sort of like you know looking around to see if anybody saw that oh who forgot it okay big bites big bites Shadow 
little big bites is like it's gone. It's basically gone now. And I still have this whole fish. I feel kind of sad about it. Mm. Oh, there's the bones. It's in the fin. Okay, I'm gonna try to avoid that. Sorry, friend, but in the interest of not choking on fish bones, uh, these will have to be smaller bites. I think when I do a burger one, I got you. So my second instinct, get the bug out of my nose. I did the thing where you kind of like put the finger on one nostril and then, you know, blow hard so then, you know, air comes rushing out of the second nostril. Because I don't normally have allergies, I wasn't really worried that, you know, something was going to come out. But in this instant, and I didn't even realize that when I did that, when I put my finger on my nose and I blew out, all this snot came out. Sometimes if you're lucky, it'll just like come out and land or just come out, right? Just God, not my snot. My snot was not ready to be without me. So rather than leaving my face and like hopefully just, you know, going on the ground, like it goes around and back up on top of my face. Okay. Now I'm mortified because <coughs> of course I'm, I'm walking the dogs, right? The only thing I got maybe with me is like the little doggy poop bag things. And that doesn't cross my mind as an option. And then I'm wearing a sweater and I'm like, oh, really? do I really want to, am I like, am I a five-year-old kid? And I'm just gonna like across my sleeve. The car that happens to be parked next to me on the street as I'm dealing with this bug up nose shenanigan and now, you know, snot on the face starts. <laughs> Which means the whole time the person <laughs> saw that whole sequence of events and I, I don't know who they are and so you know maybe they did maybe they didn't but i feel like they did and they were like oh dang she got snot on her face it's time to go i mean this is a hot mess we just we got to be out of here we we really need to leave so this car starts and so now i'm i'm grossed out right because i um i have snot on my face and then on top of that so i'm i finally decide okay i'm just i'm gonna do it i'm gonna be the five-year-old kid who has snot like all over their shirt and stuff so I use, I pull the sleeve of my sweater up and then I use the sleeve of my sweater. Don't judge me people, this was a tough decision. I use the sleeve of my sweater to grab my nose like this and sort of pull down and so that I basically wipe, wipe off all the snot from my face. And I look and there's no bug. Where the frick is this stupid bug? So now I'm panicking because I'm a, I'm a little more than halfway home, but there's still a good amount of walk left. And I'm just thinking like, wait, is this bug gonna try and exit somewhere else? Like, is it gonna continue to crawl up into my head or something? Okay, I'm gonna be calm and rational about this. I started walking again, my mind is racing. And eventually, and I'd say this was maybe another seven or eight minutes, which may not seem long, but like in bug up your nose time, it is long, okay? Seven to eight minutes is a long time. So I finally get home. I really need to figure out if this bug is in my nose or not. And mind you, the whole way that I'm in that seven and eight minutes, I'm continuing to like blow and grab snot. There's only so much room on this cuff of your, of your sleeve. So this sleeve started to get snot on it and then there was a moment people back to my five-year-old days i blew my snot and i went like this because i'm freaking out where is this stupid bug and every time i'm blowing snot and i'm looking i'm not finding this bug i'm freaking out that the bug is gonna crawl up into my head and decide that you know what um it's gonna just it just oh, hey it turns out it's a pregnant fruit fly and now it's gonna lay eggs in my brain so reminiscing is uh just making me uh hungry so let's have a little bit more of this flounder you know in hindsight this might not have been the best thing to eat for mukbang just because i think in time it does take more time right because it flakes off into these little pieces but in any normal eating experience i would recommend this especially the sauce part. i'm in love with your sauce I, if this sauce were a person i'd be like hey, hey, hey. But it is good. Okay. Hey, look, we're pretty much done with side one. Oh, wait, just kidding. We've got a little bit more meat on this side, guys. 
because it's deep fried, right? It actually makes the fish more moist, or not more moist, but just it's likely that it's gonna be moist because that deep fry cooks it really fast. It doesn't have a ton of time to cook the fish and dry it out. Mm. Okay, how about we just... Oh, mm, 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 mm. Dang it. Are you got any bones in there? It doesn't taste or sound like it. Okay, let's flip this bad boy over. Oh, this side looks a little bit different. I guess because only one side had skin on it. Is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. So it looks like on the second side, they peel the skin off. They skin one side. Why would they only skin one side? If you guys know, maybe you can let me know because um, that's not gonna stop me. I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat it, but that's kind of curious. Why would they only have the skin on? Is that normal? I mean, it's the whole fish. I can understand if it was like a filet or something, but anyway. Cut to seven to eight minutes after um, blowing snot and wiping it all over my sweater and being just mentally mortified. Uh, but on the outside, I'm like, hey, no, I'm cool, I'm cool. This is like, I'm like, hey, it's a beautiful day, yeah. I get home and then I don't automatically go to the bathroom. I have to like take the dogs, take the dog's leash off, make sure they have enough water, which of course, naturally, this is the one time where I come home and they don't got water. So I gotta make their water. And some of you might be asking, like, really, Kim? You couldn't have just gone to the bathroom first, figured out whether or not that bug was making a colony in your brain, and then give them water. But you know what? I'll put my babies first. Just like most moms. So that's what I did. I filled their water, and then I went to the bathroom. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay, let's take another bite of summer roll because do you think I can get this whole thing in my mouth? No, I don't think so. No, that's that's crazy. We can do half though. Yeah? Yeah, we can do half. Hmm. Oh yeah. Didn't swallow the bone. <clears throat> the dogs finally have water. I can finally go into the bathroom and figure out what the heck is going on. So I go into the bathroom and Sorry, I'm, I'm not sure. I think Alexa just spoke to me, but I didn't even say her name. <clears throat> what was I even saying? Oh, so I go into the bathroom. I finally am. Um, having the opportunity to figure out what's going on in this bug situation. I'm blowing, so now, because now I'm in the bathroom and now I'm in a place where there's like towel and Kleenex and running water, now I'm blowing like crazy. So I'm just like Shh, Shh. And the first couple times I do this, this bug is not coming out. And I'm starting to really be scared because I felt that bug go in. So I'm like blowing, 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 nothing's coming out. Finally, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna blow one more time because I've done enough blowing today. So I, so I do it, I put my finger on this nostril right here and I give it all I've got. And it's like this long st string that's like hanging from my nose. So because I've got, you know, soap and water and towels and everything, I just grab it and I pull it and there it is, the freaking bug. And I'm so relieved because now I know, I'm 97% sure that wasn't enough time for the bug to lay eggs in my brain. If you have never had this experience before, I definitely don't recommend it. Like do not go out seeking bugs to inhale up your nose and then see later if you can blow it out because it's not worth it, people. So this experience, I think you can do without. Although now I'm seeing how it has value and it's provided a story 
for my YouTube channel. So I guess I can't be that bad about I'm like mad about it because because it has added value, but not something I would repeat. Definitely not something I would recommend. That's my uh, story of inhaling a bug. And you know, after I was done with all of this, so of course, naturally, I washed my hands. Uh, I washed that sweater in hot water. I got to thinking about, you know, that was a pretty terrible exper experience for me, but what did the bug go through? I mean, what a way to go, right? You're just you're loving life. You're living next to this endless supply of food. And then some giant something comes along and you're up its nose. I mean, that sounds terrible. I would definitely not want to be that bug, you know? I was just flying along, minding my own business, and the next thing I know, everything is dark, and I just hear this rush of noise, and there's all this sticky plasma-like thing coming at me, so I'm just gripping to whatever I can find because I don't even know where I am. Lord, tell my wife I love her. You know, take care of my kids. I mean, I don't know. I just assumed he was like at work or something. And then what a way to go. I mean, I think he was dead. Once I saw him, I was just like, relief. And then I washed him off and we went down the drain. He didn't even have a proper burial. It was kind of sad. Sad story, guys. Yeah. So tell me, has that ever happened to you? I mean, not that exact experience because that would be weird. Story where you inhaled a bug. Because it's not a pleasant experience. But most times it doesn't last that long. That's why I thought, you know, this is a, worth, a story worth telling. Because a lot of times, if you inhale a bug, then you're really quick about getting the bug out. And then, you know, usually it's like, that's that. This bug up nose tail lasted like, like 15, 20 minutes. So, that's a long time for a bug to be up your nose. And you not know what the heck is going on. All right, guys, we did really good on the fish. I wasn't sure if I could eat the whole thing. But it turns out I'm an animal, and I can. Mm. But I'm an animal. I was kind of a fraidy cat, and I don't want to eat a bone, so... I'm sure there are people out there who are watching this video going like, Oh my gosh, such a waste. She's leaving so much meat on the ends there. But I'm not even kidding, guys. I'm afraid of choking on a fish bone, so. <clears throat> mm. And this sauce, guys, I cannot tell you how much I love this sauce. Like, obviously, there's chili peppers in it, but there's there's something else in it. And it's like it's super sweet. I wish I had a more refined palette. I'm just not one of those people that can always tell right off the bat what I ate. Which is why I, I think that helps me be an adventurous eater because I just I just taste it and I'm just like, oh, do I like it? Do I not like it? I don't know. But I don't like instantly figure out like, oh, I just had a caterpillar, you know, or something like that. Although I haven't had a caterpillar yet. Like, you know, like a tequila worm or anything. I haven't done that yet. So I'm definitely willing to try that. Mmm. I think one bug that I would never eat though, two bugs that I would never eat are spiders and roaches. That's just, no, mm -mm. I'm so scared of spiders guys, like it's not even funny. I mean it's funny to other people, but it's definitely not funny to me. I remember this one time, <clears throat> my uh, other grandma, oh, dang it, I just flung a fish somewhere. Okay, well, whichever dog finds that, lucky them. I remember one day I was in the <clears throat> bathroom, in the back bathroom, and uh, you know, so you're getting ready to take a shower, right? So you take off all your clothes and you get into the tub. And I get into the tub and I just, out of the corner of my eye, I see this dark thing and I look and there's a freaking cane spider right along the inside of the tub. And if you don't know what a cane spider is or if you don't know how big it is, it's this big, okay? They are the size of the palm of my hand. Bigger maybe even especially if you're afraid of them then they look enormous right so i see this spider and i'm like <gasps> up against the wall up against the bathroom wall and then i decide uh i don't want to go out like this i am naked 
I am, I am naked and afraid. Oh my gosh. I just realized I was on my own episode of that. <laughs> so I'm naked and afraid. I'm up against the bathroom wall and I'm just like, nah, I'm not going out like this. So then I decide to do this like Olympic leap over the tub and I jump out. I, I put on a towel real quick and I run out and I'm like, grandma, grandma, there's a spider. And this woman, she is scared of nothing. Both my grandmas, the strongest, bravest women I've ever met in my life. This grandma is not afraid of spiders, so she's like, <laughs> this old Japanese lady, like, seriously bent over in a 90 degree angle because, you know, she's like with her walker and, you know, whatever. So she goes in the bathroom. Me and my sister are just hiding out in the back. So she comes outside. She has a tissue in her hand, and so we're like, oh, okay, good. You killed it. And she's like, this is what you're afraid of? You're afraid of this? And then this little old lady decides to chase me around the room with a dead spider in her hand. I mean, there's like a napkin, but like I could see, I could, it was like, it was like this guys. Like I could see the legs, the little spider legs sticking out of the napkin. So I was just like, ah, like screaming and running away from her. And she's cracking up. I mean, just <sighs> good times, grandma, good times. Love you. Yeah. Long story short, I would not eat uh, spiders or roaches. I just would not eat roaches because they're disgusting. Okay, let's finish this soup off. And then we've got a couple more bites. And then you guys are free to go. I mean, you're free to go anytime, but thank you for sticking it out and watching me eat. I hope you guys feel like watching my show is a lot like maybe actually having the meal with me. Because that's kind of my goal is I want it to be like this. Like, what's it like to have lunch or dinner with Kim? It's exactly like this. It's me playing with my food, um, all these random things happening while I'm eating. Is this a mushroom? Mm, yep, that was mushroom. And you just being a part of that. I think I will eventually want to have guests on my show who actually will do mukbang with me and eat with me and tell me their own stories about things that happen because I think that would just be a fascinating show. If you'd like to be a guest or um, if you have any thoughts or comments about that, please leave a comment below and let me know because I'm really thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got three bites left. Let's get this last bite of Green papaya salad is so good. I like it because mostly you taste the flavor of the papaya. It's not like, I think they add fish sauce. Like it's not too strong. The fish sauce is not too strong. The heat is definitely not too strong. So if you're not big on heat, I think you're okay eating the green papaya salad. But if you like heat, Definitely recommend the drunken noodles. What is this? I think this is a pea. Yeah, it tastes like a pea. But honestly, it all tastes like meat. That's the coolest part. These noodles definitely have that meat flavor. Let's try them. On our last bite, the last bit of our summer rolls, lost some of it into the sauce. Mm. delicious guys one last thing I'm trying to eat healthier not today obviously but in general I'm trying to eat healthier so I was thinking that I eventually wanted to do a mukbang or start to do mukbangs where I actually prepare food I was probably gonna try and cook healthy food and maybe talk a little bit about what I cook and how I make it and I don't know if that would be something that you folks are interested in so let me know your thoughts on that I could also continue to just do this or maybe alternate both of those ideas but I'm still kind of just playing with you know what's my channel gonna be like if you have any thoughts about that um, definitely comment and let me know 
But otherwise, thank you again so much for another for joining me for another episode of Mukbang, and I will see you folks in a week. Bye. We're done, babies. You wanna you wanna chew on this? Okay, bye.